Welcome to another Incubate show. My name is Basil Zayder, Regulated Canadian Immigration Consultant. Today we're going to talk about express entry, which is a hot topic in the uh, Canadian immigration um, industry. So we're getting a lot of questions from our clients. We're getting a lot of feedback from our clients. Uh, express entry started in January of 2015. You know, it's been over a year. Uh, uh, now coming into the second year, um, we're getting questions about, you know what, I applied, I haven't been selected, what's going on? I didn't receive my invitation to apply. Um, how long am I going to wait? My profile is about to expire. So um, there's a lot of controversy about the program and where the program is headed. So. We've helped many, many clients so far. Uh, we have clients that have received their um, uh, invitations to apply. We helped them in applying for their permanent residency and proceeding with the process of, of uh, coming to Canada. What we can advise you uh, when it comes to express entry is based on our experience, based on our own uh, profile of clients that we're working with, um, the most important point to focus on if you want to get selected under express entry is your English or French language command. This is the make it or break it point when it comes to being selected. And again, we're talking about the current uh, uh, draws uh, from the CIC office, the current CRS or the comprehensive ranking uh, system scores as of today. Um, you know, it's ranging, it's not, it hasn't dropped below 450 points. So 450 plus, if you don't have a job offer or PMP nomination, that's what you're looking at. So with a high level of English or French, you're going to put yourself in a completely different category. You're no longer sitting in the 200 to 300 or even 300 to 400 um, uh, uh, CRS points range, of course, depending on your age. But the minimum requirement to be able to qualify for the uh, um, express entry program for the uh, federal, um, federal program or the federal skilled worker uh, uh, program is CLB7. So you're looking at IELTS score six in all four brackets. Great, you qualify. You enter the pool. You're not going to get enough points to go over 400 points. For you to be able to do that, what you need to focus on or what you need to target when it comes to your English or French uh, um, uh, language command test, so you're gonna take your IELTS exam, general training, um, or CELPIP or whatever it is, you need to go up to level CLB9, not seven. Seven will get you in the door, but you will sit in the pool. CLB9, Canadian language uh, benchmark level nine, which is around uh, uh, seven, uh, IELTS seven, all the three brackets except for listening. Listening needs to be eight, and then seven in speaking, uh, reading, and writing. If you're able to achieve level CLB nine, that means you have the ability to potentially double your experience points if you have three years of experience. So if you have three years of experience in NOC level zero, uh, A or B, and you have CLB9, you double your work experience points. Instead of 25, you're going to get 50. In addition to that, if you have a master's degree, not a bachelor, you can also double your education points from 25 to 50 by having CLB9. So consider this as a cheat sheet for yourself. Focus on CLB9, not CLB7. If you have a master's degree, and you have three years of work experience, and you have CLB9, you are always guaranteed to have over 400 or 450 points, depends on your age and your marital status. If you do that, then you can get into a completely different ball game in terms of being selected. Either you get over 450, you come in and you automatically uh, uh, fit over the uh, minimum uh, Sierra score that's being selected right now, or you can now start entering PMP programs. For example, the Ontario Provincial Nominee Program that allows you to enter with 400 points. And then based on that, you can go ahead and get a PMP nomination, get 600 points from the uh, uh, Opportunities Ontario program, and then later on, get over a thousand points as a whole in your CRS score if you get 
a certificate of nomination from Ontario. So, our advice to all our express entry clients or for those who are interested in the express entry system or if you are already in the system, focus on your English and French language tests. Study, rehearse, uh, 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 practice, take more uh, uh, language uh, um, uh, classes or whatever you need to do to enhance your level of English or French command. Do not just focus on CLB level seven, focus on target on CLB nine. Take the practice exams, try to get IELTS, uh, general training seven in all brackets except for listening, do eight. If you do that, and if you have three years of experience and you have a master's degree, you're almost guaranteed to be over 400 to 450 points in CRS. If you have a bachelor, again, you might not double your, your, your education experience, but you will double your work experience. So in all cases, you will get yourself over to the 400 plus CRS score, which is a much better uh, state to be in once you enter the pool and it opens up your doors to PMP and also potentially being selected in a CRS draw. If you have any, any questions when it comes to express entry, you want us to run your assessment, you want us to see uh, uh, what kind of CRS score you can have, if you want us to give us different scenarios uh, to tell you, look, with this kind of English language command, this is what you're looking at. With this, this is what you're looking at. We're more than happy to help you run any assessment that you need for you, your spouse, to see who's going to be the principal applicant, you uh, or, or your spouse, we can definitely help you with that. We have enough experience now with the express entry system to actually guide through our clients confidently to let them know this is where uh, they're headed in terms of entering the pool and the chances of getting an invitation to apply and later on applying for permanent residency. We hope that this, this uh, uh, program is beneficial for you and it gives you a good idea about what you need to do when it comes to applying for express entry and your chances of being selected or getting an ITA. Thank you.